Landlocked, neither here nor there, and shadowed by the guise of Robin Hood, Nottingham, the Queen of the Midlands, looks to be a regional in existence when residing between the great smog of London and the media city that is Manchester. What is it, though, that draws the film industry here? Being of a working-class family, born and raised in Nottingham, author and now regional voice, Alan Silito wrote exactly what it was he knew. Neil Forward explained how Alan Silito portrayed Nottingham in his writing. He, he portrayed the working class rebellious images of Nottingham. I mean, obviously, you've got, um, again, going back to Arthur Seaton on Saturday night, Sunday morning, you've got this guy who's a drinker, you've got him drunkenly falling down the stairs at the White Horse in the very first chapter of the novel. Saturday night, Sunday morning, published in 1958, was the story following the gritty world of Arthur Seaton, a young rally factory worker who lived in a working class area of Nottingham. Saturday night and Sunday morning became revolutionary in its portrayal of the realism of everyday people. Saturday night and Sunday morning very much nails the image of Nottingham from, from the novel. Carol Rice was very canny and he shot most of it on the streets of Nottingham. With brooding black and white exteriors of bleak factories and rows of terraced houses that stand back to back, the film not only put Nottingham on the map for something other than Robin Hood, but it also became the introduction to Nottingham's input in film. In 2007, Anton Corbijn directed his first feature film, a biographical account set in the 1970s around the life of Ian Curtis, the lead singer of the post-punk band Joy Division. Anton Corbijn, who had originally wanted to film in Joy Division's hometown of Manchester, found that Nottingham was a better portrayal of a 1970s Manchester, as Manchester had drastically modernised since then, with the use of grim and atmospheric yet stark composition of each location, taking time on each scene, allowing the audience to take in the surroundings, absorbing the film's era, stating his voice belongs in the Midlands and outside of London, Meadows is largely known for the film This Is England. Set in the 1980s, the film follows the life of 12-year-old Sean, who befriends the local skinheads in an unnamed coastal town. Although set in a seaside town, many of the locations in This Is England were filmed in Nottingham, specifically in Lenton and St Anne's. For example, Sean's first encounter with the local skinheads is in an underpass on Church Square in Lenton which accentuates the raw and bleak feeling that was evident of its time, transporting the audience back to the dreary urban background of the 1980s. Another benefactor to Nottingham as a film location is its diversity. Although it may be seen that areas are portrayed grimly, it can be found that mere footsteps away are the locations of grandiosity. 2012 showcased the other side to Nottingham in Christopher Nolan's The Dark Knight Rises, the last film in the Batman trilogy. The most prominent use of the exterior of Woolerton Hall is in the gardens, where the elite of Gotham City celebrate while a reclusive Bruce Wayne watches from the rooftop. With over 500 acres of dramatic and spacious landscapes, isolating the hall itself, an imposing aura that satiates the dark and dangerous world of Batman. Nottingham as a city not only plays its part in films, but also has a wide array of creators and ambassadors of film. Set up in 1999, Bang Festival, who set out to produce a non-competitive platform in which local filmmakers could not only see both their own work and that of filmmakers, but also got to see it in a cinematic environment. Short Film Festival really to kind of serve the local f film industry, but also um, we kind of show the sort of big award winners um, that have done incredibly well around the short film circuit and uh, yeah, so it's a right old mixture really. Donna feels Nottingham has a certain way to it that differs from other cities. Because you know normally you look at film and it's all very London centric um, and obviously over the years uh, in Nottingham you know there's been quite a lot of successes and successful directors coming out of Nottingham. Um, you know, the obvious like Shane and um, Simon Ellis, Steve Shield now is really kind of coming into the fore and uh, the stuff that Wellington Films have been doing. And I think that 
it's 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 an interesting place because it's still small enough for the for for it to still have a real community feel. So kind of everybody knows everybody, and there's a real support. There's a very supportive sort of feeling uh, around filmmaking because it's not easy, of course. Bang Festival isn't where Broadway's support for regional film ends, however, as an independent cinema that shows international and art house films is also a hub for the learning of film theory and how to create them. Owen Davies, an independent filmmaker and head of production at Broadway, works with young people. And we have worked with lots of different groups kind of across the East Midlands, really, either going out and working with people and teaching them how to make their own films or running workshops and stuff here. Um, a lot of the time through project funding, through public funding that we've applied for to put the kind of schemes of work on. Um, and then we try and also support uh, film and film production in the region as well. Owen feels Nottingham is a perfect location for the film industry because of its abundance of such culturally varied areas. Woolerton would be quite an affluent area, but it, where it neighbours is perhaps not such an affluent area. You have that throughout Nottingham, actually, in the city centre. So if you look where the park is, and the park is buffered by Lenton on one side, and then sort of you, you're almost sort of creeping into Radford, and then you've got Mapley, and you've got Mapley, and then you've got St Anne's, and you've got all of those areas. Now, it's, not, I th it's naive to suggest that, you know, some areas are rough and some aren't. It's, there's, a, there's too much social and economic history in there just to kind of pass it off and simply say that. And also, it casts certain dispersions about the people that live in those areas, and it, it's not anybody's business to do that, really. But in terms of the buildings and stuff like that, you can see fairly drastic differences in the city. A filmmaker who is already creating impressions for US film distributors is Steve Best of the horror film Zombie Hood, which not only used local cast and crew, but was also largely shot in Nottingham in locations such as the Nottingham Castle and eerily Nottingham's empty city streets. We had about six months of pre-production, so we went out looking at locations. Um, obviously we looked at the cast, we really wanted to get that in, we wanted to get the Robin Hood statue in. We looked at other parts of Nottingham as well. We looked from the top of car parks and see all the empty streets, what they would look like at five o'clock in the morning. And the fact that Nottingham sometimes at five o'clock in the morning can be quite dead and there's no one about, which is weird because sometimes you do get lots of old ladies with shopping trolleys at five o'clock in the morning. I don't know where they're going or what they're doing, but you know, it's a bit of a problem, but generally it just looks fantastic, the city, at five o'clock in the morning when they're all about. And there's a lot of creative people in Nottingham. Um, obviously we've got quite a few colleges and everything like that around here, so there's a lot of people that want to actually learn about the industry, that want to come and board on a project like this. The medium of film is a unique and engaging experience, recognisable yet accessible to the common person through heart, mind and imagination. Nottingham, as its role in film, has the ability to encompass this, not only the luxury and drudgery of life, but everything else that is in between. Saturday night and Sunday morning, This is England, Control and The Dark Night Rises are just a few examples of the city's versatility. Although Nottingham, like Manchester or London, is built of but bricks and mortar, its individuality, diversity of talent and support of the arts are what make it irreplaceable to the film industry. Where bricks and mortar may change, it is to be hoped that these positive creative virtues will remain.